Infectious bovine keratal conjunctivitis, or pink eye, is the most common eye disease of cattle. It represents an economic loss for producers, both in animals that have reduced weight gains, as well as in the cost of treating animals that have the disease in herds that are intended to be not treated with antibiotics. It, it presents a challenge for the producer. They cannot market their animals if they've ended up having to treat them. The um, disease also has an important welfare component. We, we consider animals that have the disease to experience varying degrees of pain. And so that's another important reason that we are testing an intranasal vaccine to prevent infectious bovine keratal conjunctivitis. This project started in April and what we did initially was examine um, a large group of animals, about 200 animals. We um, kicked out any animals that appeared to have active cases of pink eye and then of the remaining animals, we randomized them to receive either a control vaccine or placebo, if you will, or the actual vaccine that we are testing. Um, we labeled the vaccines either A or B. I don't know what was in A or what was in B. And so on that initial day, we, we collected blood samples. We collected tear samples from a cohort of this larger group of about 180 animals. And then we vaccinated them with either vaccine A or vaccine B. And now what we are doing is every week we are examining the entire herd and then identifying those that have active cases of pink eye. If they have um, a suspect case of pink eye, we put a green stain or called fluorescein in the eye and that, that makes the ulcer show up. We then take a picture of the ulcer and we can measure it. And we every week then measure that same animal until the ulcer heals. And then on the final project day, we're gonna take blood samples again. And, and at that point, the project will be over. If animals have an active case of pink eye that is um, of a certain size, then we will treat the animal with antibiotics. The Sierra Foothill Research and Extension Center has been instrumental in, in allowing me to be able to carry out these research projects. There are amazing facilities up here, so it's easy to get all of the animals in in a corral, get them through the chute, get them examined in facilities that allow the animals to be handled safely and on a on a routine basis. So that has been um, that has been a really big part of my ability to make progress in this area of pink eye research. What we are hoping will will come about as a result of this research is that we will have found a vaccine that is um, effective for, for um, preventing pink eye in cattle. It will most certainly need to have subsequent um, testing of the vaccine, but this would be, um, it's kind of the first baby step is to determine if the vaccine is actually effective. I, I remember as a kid growing up, I always thought I would enjoy doing something with vaccines. I always thought how amazing it would be if you could create something that would prevent a disease. And, and for me, it's kind of a perfect combination. I get to teach, I get to do research. And so it's been a kind of a fulfillment of a lifetime dream of mine.